Us humans have come a long way since our humble origins, learning about the composition of our universe and the biomolecular reactions that occur within ourselves. We have sent a man to the moon and observed Mars with artificial eyes. But life wasn't always extraordinary for humans. In fact, for the vast majority of human history, we were hunter-gatherers and lived extraordinarily difficult lifestyles. In fact, there were some points in history where the majority of the human race was wiped off the face of the planet. One of the most notable of these events occurred approximately 70,000 years ago. It was an event that completely altered the course of humanity's development. It deleted the bulk of the human DNA record. It decimated the population of mankind to an unbelievable figure between 1,000 and 10,000. But what was this shocking event? that caused this genetic bottleneck. And how did it happen? To start off with, what is a genetic bottleneck? Well, if a population that is initially extremely diverse, filled with many individuals that each have unique genomes, experiences near extinction or becomes endangered, a genetic bottleneck occurs. This is when the few individuals who survive are far less diverse than the initial group. This happened in humanity about 72,000 years ago in the Mount Toba eruption. This eruption was absolutely catastrophic, influencing the climate and ecosystems all around the globe. It blew ash into the atmosphere, shrouding the skies and preventing sunlight from going through, causing a fatal winter of six years. On top of that, it altered rainfall patterns and filled the air with deadly noxious gas. This was a recipe for disaster. Plant populations were wiped out, entire forests became barren, and the ground was covered in ash. It was an apocalyptic situation. The only populations that survived were isolated groups, where the total population was about 5,000 compared to about 1 million before the event. These few people are the ancestors of all of humanity today. But where were these groups? Well, we can trace this back by tracking human migration and seeing which areas are genetically diverse, because these are the original areas where humans would most likely migrate from. Genetic research found that East Africa was the most diverse. In fact, two neighbors in East Africa may have more of a difference in DNA than a person of East Asian descent and Northern European descent. This population has thrived and proliferated to spread across the entire globe. They have gone from a few thousand to over seven billion individuals this illustrates that we are all extremely similar genetically, and it shows that our differences are truly skin 